How now, brown cow? Okay. Is this caffeine free? <laughs> Son of a beasting. Ah. Oh, hello. Does meatloaf make you angry like it does me? <laughs> this year, we've gone meatless with our loaf. My two favorite things. Lentil loaf and the shoe loaf. <laughs> oh, hi there. Today, we're making our famous holiday lentil loaf. Come join us. Easy to take with you on the go. Do you like your stool to look just like your food? Happy holidays. <laughs> okay, you guys, so Max and I have some Christmas shopping to do and other errands to run. We gotta stop at the grocery store. So, I'm not hungry right now, but I always am when I'm on the go. So, I'm making a little protein shake to bring with me. And you guys gotta check this out. It is the ideal stocking stuffer. So this is called the Vita Extra. It runs off of a charged battery, so there's no cord. And all you have to do is put the base on like this. So I usually just bring the powder and a banana, keep it simple for on the go. And then whenever I want it, splash a little bit of my water bottle in there, blend it up. And of course you guys know, we love our Sun Warrior Protein Blend. Specifically, the Natural Blend has been my favorite as of late. I just like it um, with no flavor. I think the banana gives it plenty of sweetness. So yeah, quick, simple fix. You guys know the drill. You can get 20% off with this with our discount code Eat, Move, Rest. And if you're interested in getting healthy for the holidays, getting your family on board, stuff their stockings with a Vita Extra, and they have 20% off for this Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend. All right, so how cool is this? To be able to bring that with and then blend it whenever I am hungry. It keeps things a little bit more fresh on the go. So let's do this. We are just getting home from the store and we have got a recipe to make for you guys. You guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be great for the holidays. And Dusty is actually still working but his brother Rusty is in town for the holidays, so you guys might get to meet him. So, let's go in. What? Rusty? What are you doing? I thought I would help out. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hey you guys, Uncle Rusty here at Eat Move Rest. Today we have a super tasty holiday lentil loaf <laughs> recipe coming at you. These are the things you guys will need for this recipe besides holiday cheer. You will need two cups of cooked green lentils, one yellow onion diced, two carrots diced, two cal <laughs> calorie stalks, or calorie stalks I think. <laughs> you will need two celery stalks, one bell pepper, one to two cups of Bella mushrooms, two to three cloves of garlic minced, two tablespoons of tomato paste, two tablespoons of flax meal, one tablespoon of dried parsley, one teaspoon of liquid aminos, one cup of quick oats or rolled oats blended up into a fancy little powder like this. The flax also you will want to be blending into a fine powder like this. The first step in this recipe is to finely chop and dice all of your ingredients, all of your vegetables. And if you're smart, not like me, you will want to throw them all in the food processor. That'll save you a whole lot of time. I chose to do it all by hand today because I have way too much time on my hands, apparently. While you're chopping your veggies, you are gonna wanna start cooking your lentils. So put the two cups of lentils in the pot and boil them in four cups of water until they're nice and fluffy and soft and ready to go. Then our next step is going to be to take all of these pretty bad boys here, our chopped veggies, put them in a pan, saute them down with our parsley, liquid aminos, and cook them up. Okay, while our veggies are sauteing, we are gonna add our parsley, <coughs> we are gonna add our parsley and our liquid aminos to the batch. My veggies are cooking up right now. 
I am gonna go ahead and get the oven preheated to 350. So go ahead and do that while your stuff's cooking so that when it's done, you can just pop it right in and go. After your veggies are sauteed up and your lentils are cooked, we're gonna blend all of them together. I'm actually gonna save a few of the lentils out because I like a little bit of the meaty texture. I blended up about half of the lentils to give it more of a smooth consistency and the other half are not blended to give it some of that meaty consistency. Now we're gonna combine it all with our veggies, with our flax, and with our oat flour to mold our loaf. Now we are going to form our lentil loaf, or loaves if you will. I might actually make a couple smaller loaves. Now that our oven is preheated and our loaves are preformed, we are gonna put them in the oven and cook them up. We are gonna cook those in the oven for about 35 minutes. You can check at about 20 to see how they're doing. You can actually add the glaze midway in. I'm gonna show you how to make that now. Or you can wait and add the glaze at the very end. I think we're gonna add it halfway through the cook so it can kind of caramelize on top. But let's get into that now. Okay guys, my two favorite food groups ketchup and syrup. This is all you need for the lentil loaf glaze. We're gonna do one to one. Okay. We are making our fancy sauce now. Ketchup and syrup. Mmm. Love syrup. Okay, let's give it the old taste test. Mmm, mmm, that is super good. Fancy sauce, fancy sauce. Okay, so our lentil loaf is about halfway done. Just starting to get crispy on top. And we are gonna put our fancy sauce on top. Go ahead and spread this on nice and thick. This is gonna kinda caramelize on top and be super, super tasty once it's all cooked up. You can even save a little and add more at the end if you want, or dip it, whatever you think your family will like. And we're gonna put this back in the oven for probably another 15 or 20 minutes until it is cooked all the way through, and then we are gonna enjoy. Okay guys, I was getting a little sweaty, so I had to uh, take the sweater off. The turtleneck stays but I actually reached for the very first print of our Eat Move Rest Tea, which, exciting news, is now available right here on our YouTube channel through Teespring. So you will have to check these out. Perfect holiday gift for yourself, for family. Rep the channel with your own Eat Move Rest Geotank. Or tea, sorry, G-O-T. All right, you guys, we hope that you enjoyed this lentil loaf recipe <laughs> brought to you by none other than Uncle Rusty. <laughs> yes. If he doesn't eat it all, we're gonna enjoy it right alongside him. <laughs> we hope you guys get to enjoy it too. Happy yes. Thanksgiving, happy holidays. You guys know the drill. Follow us across all of social media. Hit that subscribe button up in the corner. We'd love to have you join the Eat, Move, Rest fam and click that bell to turn your notifications on. Leave us some love in the comments below and find us on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik, and maybe Max needs his own. What do you guys think? No. Me! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we are both now repping our Eat, Move, Rest teas. You guys, this was our first tea that we designed when we started the website like a couple, mm -hmm. two or three years ago. Yep. And we finally now have them for sale. I'm not sure why we didn't do it sooner, but you guys can buy them. You should buy them, like I said, for the holidays, for friends. And soon to be a baby onesie. Yes, <laughs> we are also gonna throw up a onesie on there, maybe some other apparel. Let us know what you guys like, what you would buy from us if we put it on the Teespring store. We're having fun, we hope you guys do too. Uh, what else do we got? Max's birthday fund. Yes, charity, oh, yeah. water. charity water. Go check that video out as well and yes. donate just one dollar or more to our charity water campaign for right. Max's first birthday. Perfect time to give, it's the holiday season and there are people less fortunate than us, so let's all do our part. Right, click the link below to donate to our charity water campaign. Peace. Peace, eat, move, rest, your best, happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bye. Cookies. Nom, nom, nom.